Today we're producing a poly print and so what you need is a piece of poly board, a nail and an image that you're going to recreate. So first of all you get the image, you place it over the poly board, making sure it fits to the shape that you want and then what you do, you score out with the nail the shape that you are going to print through. So you do this until you get your desired shape that you want to print through. So if we look, I'm actually indenting little holes all the way around for the outline that I want. Now the plan is to do a two color print, so I'm not gonna add all the detail in just yet. It's just the initial outline of these pairs that I want to um, highlight. Right, so once you've created all the pin holes all the way around, lift it off and you'll see that I've scored, I'm going to score all the way around, almost like connecting the dots. Now you can do this with the nail, or sometimes I like to do it with a pen so I can see it a lot clearer. And I think it's, for me, it's a cleaner imprint. So all the way around, be careful not to stab a hole all the way through because that can affect the outcome of the print. Going all the way around. And as I said before, I'm gonna do a two color print. So currently all we're gonna get is a basic outline. Um, table line, basic outline of the shape that we want. Might add just a little mark there, just show a bit of shadow maybe. So once you've got your outline, take some printing ink. Now I start off with a light colour because remember we're doing a two colour print. And I'm going to put Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some printing ink down. So I'm starting with the light colour. I'm going to roll this out. So it's on my roller evening. At the moment it's not. So that will do for now. Put that to the side. Then I'm going to roll... So you can see it's not going in any of the gaps and that's what we want so the print can stand out. A bit more printing ink. So the first print's never usually the best because um, basically the polyboard needs to absorb a bit of the ink. So what I'm going to do is like a practice one going to put this down like that. So, got a clean roller. You place it on top. Sometimes I tend to turn it over just so I could really get in all the gaps. And remember this is your trial one. So, so that's how it looks. If you are actually happy with the colour and the outcome, then you can do your two colour print on top. But what I'm going to do is another print. So put another layer, just so you've got a nice prominent yellow coming through. Because remember, you need a second colour on top, so you want to see that contrast of two colours. So that's pretty well covered. Done. Then put, put this on top. Again with the dry roller, be careful not to mix your two rollers up, otherwise you'll get printing at the back and it creates a mess. Again I can turn it over just to really get in the gap. go 
So that's as it is. Now what we're going to do, we'll move that to the side and we are going to carve into this more. Um, it's ideal if you wash it first so you can see all your marks and when you put another colour on top it um, doesn't smudge and smear into two different tones. Right, so now your polyboard is clean, you can go ahead and add more marks and texture and patterns to your print. So for example here, I'm adding a lot more. What I might do is go straight into using a pen because I feel like it's quicker, it's easier to see all the detail that you're adding. So all the shadows, maybe a bit of cross hatching around here, just so that this area will go in and your two color print will stand out. So, so you can continue to do that until you're happy with the desired outcome. So create all your marks. You can add a little bit of texture like this. I'm using the end of a pen, scratching in any marks that you feel that you want to create to create a fuller outcome. Press a bit harder just to get more of a pattern. A few more lines here just to show more shadow. And grab your second colour. Make sure you've got it evenly on your roller. So you can see all the areas that are now standing out. Like so. Then grab your previous print. Now this is the bit you need to be careful of that you match up one corner to the other so to create a neat poly print. It's very tricky. Like that. Press firmly. Dry roller. What I'm going to do is turn it over just to really get in the gaps. And you can do this on paper, different colour papers, do it on fabric as well um, to create a repeat pattern if you wanted to so it doesn't have to be just a one-off print. Obviously if you're doing a repeat pattern you do your first layer all over and then you do your second layer after you've produced it. Right, and that's your outcome. So two color print using um, poly printing method.